Hey everybody, Norm from Tested here. A little while back, I did a little show and tell of a newly discovered automaton model that I loved building. I put a call out to you guys to point me to other uh, mechanical wooden models that you might know about. And one of you reached out to me because not only do you know about them, you designed them. That's you, Ron Nelson of Induku Wooden Models. And Ron sent me one of his models to build today. I'm really excited about this one because it is an orrery. That's right, it's gonna be the moon revolving, celestial bodies revolving around each other. In this case, I think it is the moon revolving around the earth, revolving around the sun. And I can't wait to see how this will come together because uh, that is not an easy mechanical task to design. I've seen a bunch of really cool orries made of brass, made of aluminum, um, but aren't there, there aren't many made out of laser cut wood. So already I can see lots of complex gears gearing systems right here. Now Ron designs all of these out of his shop in Sweden. So this did come overseas. Um, and okay, three sheets of laser cut wood, another pack of dowels here of very specific lengths. I imagine that's gonna be very important. And even on the dowels, you have, you have laser etched markings for places where they're supposed to be cut and also their lengths. Very clever in design. And most importantly, the instruction manual. This is supposed to look like that. We'll, we'll see if we get there, uh, but let's go flip on that time-lapse camera, break these pieces out, and start assembling. Before we actually begin assembling, of course, the first step was to null everything out. And I thought I could get away with not doing it, but I should have done it anyway, because there are a ton of pieces. And with some of the past uh, laser cut kits, um, I want to make sure that I have everything so I'm not missing anything. And what's nice about this instruction manual is at the very end, there is an index of every single piece. Now they're not all to scale and that's mostly all right because they're uniquely identified, but I photocopied this, put it out here, popped out all the pieces, put them all out, and yes, we are complete with a lot of extra pieces, which is really nice. Um, bonus pieces just in case I break any, and now we can get to the assembly. <laughs> The base of this orrery is completed. I suspect this will be the easy part. And already it's looking pretty neat. You got these three feet that are four feet that get a line and a crank right here. Very nice, moving smoothly. Um, you can tell on the outer ring, it does list the months of the year. So this could be accurate if mechanically it all fits together. Oh, this is already looking pretty nice. Of course, uh, putting this together, the pieces are fitting pretty nicely, doing a little bit of cleanup with an emery board, using some CA glue, and very importantly, very small drops of kicker just to speed up the process. And the next step, I think, is to start moving these and placing them on the Ori. Let's do it. <laughs> halfway through the build and I'm starting to get a better understanding of how this mechanically is supposed to work. So the assembly, this first gearing assembly, uh, is really anchored by a couple of these dowels. And it's nice because the dowels are actually labeled one for the sun, one for the earth, and one for the moon. You can see right here, there's a little moon icon. Uh, a couple gears here, there's a little reduction gear in the center there. and. So you can see that they should be spinning at different rates. 
that one, and these two outer large gears. I've done pass mechanical laser cut kits before, and it's always tricky because the tolerances have to be pretty perfect uh, for these to work, and sometimes they do require a little bit of lubrication. And so the recommendation here is to wax the gears, which I've done, and it's moving relatively smoothly. That might cut smooth itself out, but this is where uh, we won't know until everything comes together. I also had to use uh, some toothpicks, which are also always a little bit precarious. So if you're putting one of these kits together, always have extra toothpicks. Everything is pretty, uh, fitting together pretty well, pretty tightly. Um, and now that this gearing assembly is done, I believe I move on to the next gearing assembly, uh, which should be for the moon. almost complete. You got to check this out. This is really cool. The gears are all in place. Got a series of them. Um, and of course the three dowels, one representing the sun, the earth, and then the moon, uh, which I just installed. Uh, and if I move the moon, you can see that it's moving the gears below it. And this is basically the reverse of what the actual movement's going to be because uh, everything's going to be revolving and the, the last thing to move is of course the boon. So this assembly is complete. Uh, the movement is a little bit, uh, it's not as smooth as I think it could be and uh, there might be some tuning that I'll need to do, maybe some waxing of some of these gears, but there is movement, that's good. And so it's time to mount this onto the base. Now the base has, you see those really small gears, that's what gets interlocked to the bottom of this assembly, that's right there, and it's even aligned so that January 2nd is matched up to January 2nd here. So when we pop this in, which will go, oh my gosh, moment of truth time. Oh, 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 oh. There it goes, you hear that? It is tight and seated. And so I got the crank here, and you see that then moves this most base gear, and let's see if it turns. Oh, <gasps> it does, it does. It's again, not super smooth yet, but we have movement. All right, some tuning will be needed, and of course I gotta construct the celestial bodies themselves, the sun, the earth, and then the moon. We're gonna put those on the dowels, and I will calibrate this for 2019. So I think I finally have it. Now calibration for this orrery wasn't that simple uh, because of the size really of uh, this mechanism. Now the top part of the orrery, which has all the gears, has a, a very fine gear that gets uh, notched onto the base where the crank is. And that gear only has about 40 notches on it. And of course there are many more than 40 days of the year, so every notch that moves actually moves the arrow here uh, five or six days. So getting the phase of the moon to align to where they're supposed to be using some internet reference may not be super precise. Uh, there's also one final step of calibration and that's of course the angle of the earth. It's really clever how they did the earth, moon, and the sun here uh, and the earth actually can be off axis as it should be. So I have it set up here for June 21st and that's when the earth is tilted most toward the sun, and that's where I'm gonna then put the final piece in. The earth, have the north pole hit the sun, and using some reference, when's the next full moon? Well, we're in April 2019. Next full moon is April 19th. I'm gonna then crank backwards in time. You can see there's movement, oh, there it goes. The earth is revolving around the sun, and the moon around the earth. And if I move it close to around April 19th, 
ish. Oh, there it goes. I'll give it a little bit of a nudge. It is a full moon. This is a really, really cool piece of automata uh, designed by Ronald Nelson of Induku Designs. Thank you so much, Ron, for sending it to me. I've always wanted an orrery in wooden laser cut form. Again, if you have more automata you found online, other kits you'd like to see a showcase, please post them in the comments below where you can always reach out. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.